I wanted to show you a little bit about using paragraph styles to build automatic table of contents. On the screen right now on the right you see a, a bad photograph of a table of contents of a book from Adobe and you can notice how it says contents at the top here and here's a chapter title introducing the workspace and you can barely see it but there's a six over here on the side and then there's some subtopics or topics underneath that chapter and you can see leader dots going over to those page numbers so what we're going to do is we're going to show you briefly how to create some styles to format up the look of your TOC with the leader dots and different things and then I'll show you how to build a uh, table of contents from using paragraph styles in a document. So over here on the side it says here we have my type tool. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on this paragraph right here called help topic and basically what you're seeing here is the text is starting right here. The margin is set there. There is a right justified tab over here where the number sits. So when I click on this and I bring up the tab ruler, let me show it to you here. You can see there is the margins have been pulled in right here to determine the start position of where it says head one. And there's a right justified tab here I put on this side where the page number will go. Now that is an actual paragraph style called table of contents head one topics. That's mimicking over here where it says introducing the workspace page six. The item underneath here we'll call maybe a head two topic and the paragraph style I have for that of course is called head two topics. Notice the margins are brought in even further. There's still the right justified tab exactly in the position of the other one for head one but the difference is when you click and select the tab here, so it's blue, I put a leader dot in here. So I put a period plus a space to show or put in a series of leader dots. Now let me show you a little trick somebody showed me here. If you come over here and hit tab, there's nothing in this leader field. So you don't see anything in that area. So if you want leader dots, I'll put a period in there and I'll hit tab. Now notice how close the periods are. Well, what I've been shown is that if I go a period and then I add a space and hit tab, that's just going to put a period, then a space, period, then a space. Let's see if you can switch positions here. Let me see if I can put in a space and then a period. See if that makes any difference next to the number. Yeah. See over here where there's a space now between the last leader dot and the number? The one below it has the period first and then the space for the leader dot. So just know that this is something you want to set up if you want leader dots. So let me undo my changes so I'm back the way I was before. And so what I did is I made this into a paragraph style. I highlighted this. And then I wanted to make a paragraph style. And so I made a paragraph style called TOC Head 2 Topics. So it's remembering the margin, it's remembering the leader dots, and it's remembering this right justified tab. Same way with the Head 1 Topics. It's remembering the margin indent here, no leader dots, and a right justified tab where the page number is going to go. And contents up here is a TOC content style. It's just making it that color, that size, so on and so forth. Now, I've got those styles done. So when I build my table of contents, it's going to use the TOC styles to format up my actual table of contents. Now let's find out how you use paragraph styles to build a table of contents. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the tab ruler and I'm going to come over here on two of the document. In fact, let's see here. That's fine. So over here in the document, I have 
my title. This is the title of my document. So uh, when I type this in my document, I apply the paragraph style called document title. So I've made up a style for use within the document to format it up a certain way. So don't get confused. I've got TOC styles to format up the table of contents so it looks a certain way. And I have a series of styles built into the document also and using them there to format up how the way the document looks. So that's how I want my title to look in my document. Whenever I start a topic, I'll call it, a, I'll just name it, uh, let's see here. I'm going to go up here and say color blue. We'll use that as our topic number one. And I have a head one topic formatting up this text. Over here I have a subtopic. It's kind of like a head two. So it's going to be this font, not bolded. And it looks just like this in this size. So that's the formatting. So if we go over here to page three, here's our head topic. We're going to change this here to yellow and it's just going to format up the same way the style told it to and under the subtopic here uh, I'll just name this subtopic 2 whoops alrighty and same way with this page I'll change this to a red and leave this at subtopic here uh, number 3 and we'll leave it 3C Okay, so I use these paragraph styles throughout the document to keep my document consistent. I'm never going to use those paragraph styles called document title, head one topic, or head two subtopic on anything but the specific things. Head one is only going to be applied to head one stuff in my document. Head two is only going to be applied to the subtopics. So you don't want to use them any other time because that's how InDesign is generating the table of contents. It's looking where these paragraph styles are uniquely used and pulling that data to build your table of contents. Okay, now let's go build the table of contents. So you go under Layout, you come down to Table of Contents. The first thing it says here, what title or what words would you like to have on the page where the table of contents is going to be displayed? If you don't want any words on the top of this page, then don't put anything. But if you do, put some words in here. Let's say I'll just go MKL contents, just for fun. In fact, I'll put in here MKL color contents. I'm going to come over here on this side and I'm going to assign a paragraph style to format it the way it's going to look in the TOC page. So I've already built a paragraph style called TOC contents and that's what I'm going to add to them. The next thing over here, I'll remove these items in here so you're not confused. Okay. Here, what we do is we go to the right-hand side and we say, what do you want to include in this table of contents? So I'm going to go through my styles here. There's my three TOC formatting. I don't want those. What I would like to have is the head one topic included in the TOC. And I'd like the head twos to be a subset of that. Notice how it's indented automatically by InDesign. Now I'm going to go back and click on head one topic on the left and say I want it styled or apply a paragraph style called TOC head one topics. The head two text that it pulls over. I want it formatted with the TOC head 
two topics paragraph style. That's the one with the leader dots. So this is how I determine what is pulled into the table of contents by bringing over the paragraph styles that were uniquely applied to specific parts of the document. Let's go ahead and click OK. Alrighty. So let's go look at this for a second. I have it on page one. Now here's the downside. I forgot to erase this. So let me erase this. I apologize. Let me go back to layout and generate the table of contents one more time. I forgot I, forgot I had that up there. I left it up as an example. So we're going to click OK. And it's going to place it right in here where the text cursor was at. So now you can see this table of contents has the certain TOC styles applied to it for the title, for head one, for head two. And again, we have a double set. We have a set of TOC paragraph styles formatting up how it looks in the table of contents once the data is gathered. And then we have these other paragraph styles in here determining how the text will look in the actual document. So you might not be able to do this first time out, but you might have to go back and do this a couple times or watch the video. The key thing is you need to build some styles on how you want the TOC formatted and you also want to build some paragraph styles on paragraphs that are unique within your document. So I hope this introduces you at least to the concept of table of contents that can be automatically generated within InDesign. If you have any questions, just go ahead and drop me a message.